Rough diamonds, often mistaken for regular stones, have unique characteristics that set them apart. If you have a stone that you suspect might be a diamond, there are several simple tests you can do at home to find out if it's real. 1. Check for transparency and shine. Real rough diamonds don't sparkle like polished ones, but they still reflect light differently from ordinary rocks. Hold the stone under a bright light. A real diamond will have a greasy or oily luster rather than a glassy shine. Unlike quartz or other minerals, it won't be fully transparent. 2. The fog test. Breathe on the stone to create a thin layer of fog from your breath. Real diamond, the fog disappears almost instantly within one second because diamonds disperse heat quickly. Fake stone, the fog stays visible for a few seconds longer. This is a quick way to test heat conductivity, one of the diamond's key features. Has three, water density test. Fill a glass with water and gently drop your stone in. Real diamond, it sinks immediately because diamonds are very dense. Fake stone, it may float or sink slowly, depending on its density. Be sure to clean the stone before testing to remove any dust or grease that might affect the result. Hack 4. Scratch test diamonds are one of the hardest materials on earth. Try scratching a piece of glass with your stone. If it easily leaves a scratch mark on the glass, it might be a real diamond. Note, this test can damage softer stones, so do it carefully. Laugh 5. Light reflection test. Hold your rough stone under a light and observe the reflection. Real diamonds reflect both white, brilliant and coloured fire light. Fake diamonds often show only one type of reflection or appear dull. 6. UV light test. Optional. If you have access to a UV black light, place your stone under it. Many real diamonds glow blue under UV light. However, not all diamonds fluoresce, so lack of glow doesn't mean it's fake. Final thoughts. These home tests can help you get an idea of whether your rough stone might be a real diamond. However, the only definitive confirmation comes from professional testing using diamond testers or lab analysis. If your stone passes several of these tests, it's worth taking it to a jeweler or gemologist for verification.